I think he's been hurt, and I think somebody knows what happened, you know, and uh, I hope that they'll come forward and say something. A father in BB not giving up on finding his son, who's been missing now for almost eight months. Nathan Allen was last seen at the Economy Inn in BB on June 29th. Though Rochelle Turner spoke to Nathan's father about his disappearance. Rochelle, anything new in the case? Oh, Bob and Ashley, nothing new in the case. Lee Allen says it's been tough not knowing what happened to his son. The family put these signs all around BB, and they spent countless days searching for Nathan. He's six four and uh, about three hundred and forty pounds. Lee Allen tells us about his son Nathan through this flyer. He was a good guy. He he was big. Uh, everybody liked him. The 34-year-old has been missing since June 29th of 2019. Well, I feel depressed and uh, uh, loss of hope, you know, and uh, of him being alive. BB police say Nathan was last seen at this economy inn. There's where it started. That's what happened. I think something happened to him right here. Allen says Nathan had a home and a job and wonders why he was at the motel. I got a call from uh, his uh, girlfriend. And uh, she told me that his truck was down here at the economy inn and been sitting down here for a week. Since June, he searched the woods in different places around town. Nothing turns up. There's no clues. Nothing happened. You know, no cell phone, no, no trace of any kind. And it's just, uh, it, it's just hard to, uh, to go on like that. He says something's not right about Nathan's disappearance, and he's not stopping until he has answers. At this point, I don't expect to hear anything good. Know, because if something good would have come up, he would have showed up by now. Now, Allen says Nathan has a distinctive tattoo on his right forearm, and Allen says he's going to meet with detectives tomorrow morning. I did reach out to BB Police, who told me the investigation is ongoing and they're doing all they can to find him. Back to you. Rochelle, thanks very much.